And Mitt Romney himself tweeted a couple of weeks ago that he would be making an announcement originally set for yesterday, delayed to today, out of respect for the victims in Florida. The former presidential nominee made the announcement via video that shows him standing on an ice rink, reminiscent of the 2002 Winter Olympics hosted in Salt Lake City, which is credited for he is credited for saving after it became bogged down by scandal. In his video, he juxtaposes Utah values against Washington, and he took some shots. Utah welcomes legal immigrants from around the world. Washington sends immigrants a message of exclusion. And on Utah's Capitol Hill, people treat one another with respect. I have decided to run for United States Senate because I believe I can help bring Utah's values and Utah's lessons to Washington. There are four times as many registered Republicans in Utah than Democrats. And while Romney wasn't born here, his deep roots cannot be overstated. I can't imagine anybody defeating Romney. I don't think most of the major candidates who are even thinking about it will run. Uh, this would not be the seat to run for. Sandra, the candidate makes his first official appearance tonight at a Lincoln Day dinner. Sandra. Alicia, any reaction on the ground there this morning? Yeah, his critics call him a carpetbagger. As you know, he was born in Michigan. He was the governor of Massachusetts. He owns homes here and got his Utah driver's license four years ago. He is very connected to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And as you know, he and the president have had a complicated and antagonistic relationship, although Mr. Trump did eventually encourage him to run. Important to remember, should he win, Sandra, even though the state of Utah loses that seniority from Orrin Hatch's retirement, Mitt Romney walks in. In, as one political observer said, with a very big microphone. 